Hello and thanks for joining us. I'm Tammy Booth with Show Me Progress. I'm here on the floor of the Missouri Democratic Party Convention chatting with Susan Monte, former state auditor, former state party chair, and current candidate for lieutenant governor. Susan, thank you for taking the time to chat with us today. Tell us a little bit about yourself and how you came to be here today. <laughs> well, of course, it's the uh, Democratic Convention. I've been a lifelong Democrat. Um, I, last year, I set this up. I was chair of the uh, Democratic Party. I'm the former state auditor. I'm a CPA and an attorney. And this year, I'm a candidate for lieutenant governor. You lost a heartbreaker in the 2010 wave year, but that didn't keep you down. <laughs> No, you know, it was really awful, and I, I felt terrible uh, the night of the election. I felt even worse the day after when I found out how devastating our losses were. Um, then uh, I, it took about a week of pouting before I became uh, interested in becoming chair of the party because I thought there were a lot of things we could have done to get out the vote, get out a better message. Um, I didn't anticipate running again this soon, but then again, uh, part of being chair of the party is making sure we have viable candidates across the board. And so uh, I have no backward look, no regrets. I feel good about the race I'm in. Great. Uh, what will you prioritize if you secure the nomination and are victorious in uh, well, the couple of things that the lieutenant governor's office is responsible for that I think there are shortcomings are, you know, of course, our senior issues and our veterans issues. Uh, the veterans issues especially, I come from a military family, and so I, I'm aware of many of the issues facing us. My dad was missing in action in Vietnam, and my family uh, survived on veterans benefits. We have a lot of soldiers that are coming back from Afghanistan and we just don't have a support structure in place. So we have not only have our, our Vietnam vets uh, who are aging and need, need a lot more care than they've been getting, but we now have our new ones. We've got a lot of post-traumatic stress disorder and there just needs to be a place in state government to help cut through some of the red tape. The state party has a lot of rebuilding to do in rural areas. How will you facilitate the reemergence of a democratic presence in counties that have, let's be honest here, been abandoned, written off, and ill-served by the state party? Well, that's part of the reason that uh, I wanted to take over the party in the first place. I come from St. Joe, which um, is, is a large community compared to a lot of the areas in the state, but we always felt like no one ever would come. They would say, uh, just come down to Kansas City, it's close. And so I, I recognize how hard it is to get people interested if you don't get any candidates there. I've made a special point of, of going everywhere in the state, both when I was campaigning for state auditor and when I was actually doing the audits. I've been in every, uh, every one of the 114 counties and the cities in the state. And I think it, it just makes a difference to the people in those if you come and you talk about the issues. And it isn't Democratic and Republican issues. A lot of the economic development issues cross party lines. And you just have to go in and talk about why you could matter to that community. Has anyone considered by way of an introduction, hello, we're the Democrats, remember us? <laughs> we brought you rural electrification, social security, Medicare, the VA, and the weekend. <laughs> I agree with that. I think if we would talk about what makes um, this party the party of the people, uh, people would recognize we, we ought to do a come back to the Missouri Democratic Party because uh, a lot of these people in our rural areas always voted Democrat, grew up, but uh, we, we let things get hijacked by social issues that, that right now are, are lower on everyone's priority list. So we ought to be explaining what it is about the policies and the safety nets and the, and the type of, of issues that are facing us in tough economic times and, and what the Democratic Party really stands for. Thank you for taking the time to talk with us. Thanks. I appreciate all that you guys do for us as well. I think we just all ought to be talking about the issues all the time.